suspected militants have attacked a luxury hotel complex in Nairobi, killing at least 15 people. The compound in the Westlands district of the Kenyan capital, which houses the Duzit 2 hotel as well as offices, was attacked by gunmen on Tuesday. By the evening officials said the siege was over but gunfire and explosions were still heard early on Wednesday and a security operation is ongoing. The Somalia-based militant group Al-Shabaab said it was behind the attack. Police sources say 15 people have been killed, but an official number has not yet been confirmed by the government. A US citizen is among the dead, according to the US State Department. The fate of the attackers is also unclear. The attack began at about 1500 hours local time, 12 o'clock GMT, when four gunmen threw bombs at vehicles in the car park before entering the lobby, where one blew himself up, police say. A woman working in a neighboring building told Reuters news agency, I just started hearing gunshots, and then started seeing people running away raising their hands up and some were entering the bank to hide for their lives. At 20 hundred hours GMT, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Mashangai said all the buildings in the complex had been secured by security forces. The situation is under control and the country is safe, he told reporters. Terrorism will never defeat us. But just an hour later gunfire and sporadic explosions were reported in the area. Security forces then combed their way through the building with reports saying frightened workers had barricaded themselves inside. In the early hours of Wednesday, more than 100 people were rescued from the complex and taken to a nearby trauma center. About 30 people are being treated at Nairobi hospitals, media reports say, while the security operation is ongoing. The five-star dues at two hotel has 101 rooms. Located in the Westlands suburb, minutes from the capital's business district, it has its own spa and several restaurants. Kenya has seen a number of terror attacks in recent years, most notably in areas close to the Somali border and in the country's capital. Kenya is part of a regional peacekeeping operation that supports the Somali government in its battle against Al-Shabaab. In September 2013, Al-Shabaab gunmen entered the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi and targeted